Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to save the pictures from the Windows Spotlight collection. So you might have noticed when you first turn on your computer, if you don't log in, it'll uh, kind of cycle through some pictures here. Or if you lock your computer, it'll put these pictures too, where you could click on uh, links from the uh, desktop itself to kind of get information about the images. But what if you want to save these images? So that's what we're going to show you how to do today. So first thing we need to log back in. Okay, so what you need to do is go to the specific location here. So I have this link I'll post in the uh, description as well. So you could access it from the Run menu, or I just like to go to Windows Explorer here, or File Explorer as it's called now. Paste it in, press Enter, and you'll see you have these weird files here. So what you need to do, because these are image files, but they don't have extensions on them, you'll have to right-click on it, and then choose Rename. And put a .jpg at the end. And then once you do that, you could double click it. And you'll see we got a picture there. Let's do another one here. Just like so. And then from there, what you could do is, you know, maybe drag it to your desktop. Or you actually might want to copy it to your desktop. And then you'll have the pictures right there on your desktop. And you could actually then, you know, go to your desktop settings or personalize. And then you could change your background from solid color to a picture. And you could browse your pictures. And let's say, you know, obviously you probably should save them to your pictures, not your desktop. And choose that. And then now you have your uh, desktop background right there. So one thing you're going to keep uh, in mind here is when you I think when you reboot your computer or turn off, it'll clear these out and then just add new ones as it displays them. So you, you'll probably have different pictures in here depending on when you check it. So maybe if you leave your, your computer locked for a while, let it cycle through some pictures, you get some more options in there. And then you could just uh, right-click on each one, change it to .jpg, and then whatever ones you want, you could copy and paste them into your regular pictures folder and then apply it to your desktop background. Simple as that, sort of. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.